Welcome back my YouTube family. In today's video, I'll be going over the process of how I separated this exhaust fan and light combo into a separate light in a different location and an updated fan that's a little bit more quieter, a little bit more efficient. I first had to find out where the center of the room was at and I marked that on the ceiling. I'm using my stud finder to make sure that where I want the light installed in the ceiling, there's no joist prohibiting me from installing the box. There was a joist right there, dead smack in the center of the room, so I had to move the light over just a little bit. Here I'm just setting up my drywall circle cutter for a 4 inch diameter circle. The box that I'm using is really for new work, but you can also use it if you have access to your attic. Uh, I believe that this box is a little bit more stronger than the retrofits which is on screen here. Using a keyhole saw makes quick work of cutting a circle. There's plenty of room here for me to attach the bracket to the joist. The old exhaust fan was a lot smaller than the new one, um, and so I'm going to have to do some drywall cutting to make the hole compatible for the new exhaust fan. This Panasonic Whisper Remodel exhaust fan allows for the connection panel to be taken off. It also allows for the electrical box to be taken off so you can make your electrical connections without having a weight of anything holding you back. As you can see, I've already ran some 14.2 Romex from the new light location through the Romex connector to the electrical box. The provided bracket is designed to go joist to joist and the only thing you have to do is just screw it in on either side. This particular exhaust fan is designed for a 3 inch line or either a 4 inch line. Mine was 4 inches so I'm just making appropriate connections here using zip tie to fasten the flex line to the exhaust and then I'm going to go over that with some mastic. I'm fortunate to have a separate switch for my light and a separate switch for my fan. And although they're separate, they're still ran to the old exhaust fan light combo connection uh, via what's called a 12-3. It has a three conductors in it and a, and, a, and a copper ground. So the red is for the fan, the black is for the light, and then the neutrals will be shared between the new light location and the existing electrical hookup for the exhaust fan. I will just pigtail the black wires inside of the exhaust fan electrical box and carry that on and off signal to the light. I know that sounded like a lot, but it really is not. <laughs> it's not a lot. It's just, it sounds like a lot. But my switches are actually smart. So my light is on a smart dimmer and my exhaust fan is on a smart switch. And I'll get more into that a little later on into the video. The provided screws really gripped into that bracket, uh, making this connection box really secure. Now I did have to use a backer board because I wanted all four sides of the exhaust fan to be screwed into something solid. So I added this board just using a drywall to secure the board to the drywall and then that way it'll give me something to screw into instead of having that one side just kind of hanging there. And now it's time to install the ceiling box. A 
again I use this box because I knew I had access to the attic um, I'm just going to stick this bracket through the hole could have did it from the attic and stuck it down but um, yeah I just did it this way and I'm just going to go into the attic and screw each side of that bracket into the joist All that's left now is to install this light that I got off of Amazon for about 50 bucks and we home free home. So getting back to the smart switches, what you see now on screen is a Zeus multi-sensor. It senses motion, light temperature and humidity all in one i actually have it hardwired because it was running out of batteries but anyway um the premise is if that i say for instance we're in the shower and humidity reaches 62 degrees then it automatically turns on the fan the exhaust fan if there's no motion in the bathroom let's say for five minutes then it would turn off the light um at different times of the day since i have a smart dimmer uh, when we come into the bathroom it automatically turns on but only turns on at a certain percentage so uh, the bathroom has about six different switches and or dimmers and about three different sensors. Um, so yeah, it's a smart bathroom, but it really is awesome. And I have videos that I'm going to be uploading on the smart home series. I have over 300 smart devices in the house. And so if you haven't subscribed to the channel, then make sure you subscribe. Also, if you want to be notified when I upload new videos, then make sure you hit that bell. I do have a couple of more videos in queue related to this bathroom transformation, so be looking out for those. Um, also, if you haven't checked out the videos that I've uploaded previously, then check those out as well. I still have the painting of the cabinets video to do, um, the drain for the tub, and a couple of other you know small ins and outs. So yeah, be looking out for those videos. Hey, I appreciate you all sticking around for this video. If you like it, then please give it a thumbs up. Also, leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know if there's anything, any videos that you would like for me to upload, um, anything that I have uploaded that you have questions on, I'm always here to answer. I appreciate it. Until the next time, hey.